So I bought this laptop damage for $100. It's a Dell Latitude 5480 with solid specs. It has an Intel Core i5 7th generation, 8GB of RAM and a 256GB SSD. As you can see this laptop had a rough life. The hinges are broken as well as the screen and the top housing. But it's not as broken as that like button should be after you pound it out of existence. Getting the parts to fix this laptop would be a bit pricey. So I had the idea to make this a fast and compact home theater and game streaming PC. Before I can get to that point, I'm going to have to do a bit of modifications. The plan is to remove the whole top housing. This would include the screen, hinges, webcam and Wi-Fi antenna. Now that all of that is removed, I'm going to do a little bit of maintenance and replace the thermal paste under the CPU heatsink. Before I close it up, I'm going to have to find a new location for the Wi-Fi antennas. Beside the SSD and below the battery seems to be good locations. I'm not sure how well the antenna will perform under the laptop, but I'll test it out and see how stable the connection is. And here's the finished product. First thing I have to do is get it connected to the Wi-Fi and check on the signal strength. I'm getting between 150 to 270 megabits per second, which I think should be plenty for streaming. Installing Steam is next. I'll be using Steam Link to stream my games from my main PC to this one. And I'll pair my Xbox controller using Bluetooth to play the games in my library. This gives me that couch gaming console-like experience. I tested it out with Witcher 3, Need for Speed Heat and Horizon Zero Dawn. All played flawlessly with unnoticeable latency. Which I'd notice, especially in Need for Speed, where reaction times is key for racing games. I connected it to my main bedroom TV to test out the movie watching experience. Remotely controlling it from my bed was done using the Logitech K600 Smart TV keyboard with integrated trackpad. Handling 4K footage was a breeze for the quad-core 7300 HQ i5. And playing movies from Netflix, Amazon Prime and other streaming services was a pleasure to watch. Other streaming services such as YouTube also ran well. And with this being a full-blown PC, setting up a Plex server and copying your movies onto the laptop can also be done. I think this little experiment to create a home theatre PC from a laptop that was destined for the scrap heap was definitely a success. And your next project is to check out this video I did on fixing my RGB nightmare and doing a little bit of cable management on my main PC.